Today, my girlfriend's not paying attention. I quote myself when on the toilet. Oh yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out, baby. And I behave like a 12 year old. What's good, it's the Hunter Hoffman back with insane content! In this video, we encounter more issues with the Mini. What is happening to this car? Let's quickly find out. Oh, what a lovely day. All right, let's drive. Can you fix my car, please? Again? Yeah, yeah, sure. That's fine. That's fine. Thank you. And we're back. We're back on the Mini. This time with another issue. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what's happening to this car but we're gonna fix it today. We're also gonna do some small maintenance. We're gonna replace the air filter as well as the cabin air filter. Obviously, we bought some new parts that we're gonna install today. But first, let me show you what the issue is and how we're gonna fix it. So let's do this! All right guys, so the car produces a warning light, a tire pressure light, and an ABS warning light. So after a bit of research, I found out that the ABS sensors are done. So obviously we bought some new ones, well I did, and we're gonna install these today to fix that issue. So first we're gonna jack up the car, remove the wheel, and get into it. Alright guys, so this is the culprit of our problem. Here's the ABS sensor. It runs all the way up here and down into the engine bay. So yeah, let's try and remove this bad boy. It's pretty corroded down here, so let's hope we get it out easily, but we'll see what happens. Alright, so not sure if you can see this, but it's all pretty crusty in here. So we're first going to clean it with some brake cleaner and this little brush. Then we're going to spray some penetrating oil on it. So we're also going to get a wire wheel in here. All right, so I think we're ready to tackle this corroded bolt. Oh, sh Yeah, that didn't, well, that didn't go well. All right, plan B. All right, so plan B was to hammer in a slightly larger Allen key. So let's see if this works. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out, baby! And there we have it. That's one corroded bolt, bro. Alright, so we would now need to remove this sensor. So we're just gonna see if, if we can... Alright, so brute force, baby. <clears throat> brute force. All right, so we're gonna take a step back. We're gonna remove the brake caliper and the brake disc, as well as the heat shield, so that we hopefully can get some better access to the ABS sensor. Ah! Ding it went. All right, so that heat shield. All right, so that heat shield's not coming off. We're gonna just. Well, we have to continue up here then. All right, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut the cable, and then we're gonna drill out the whole plastic sensor. So first with a punch, we're going to, well, punch a hole. Then with a small drill bit, we're going to, well, drill a hole. Look at that. All right, so a small update on where we are at now. 
as you can see, loads of plastic debris. And if you can watch from the back, it's the plastic part that would need to be removed too. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yes. Oh, and that was the last piece. All right, so that was a relatively easy uh, five minute job. Fire! All right, so now we're gonna continue with the cable management of the ABS sensor. Okay, so we're back. This is the new sensor. I've cleaned out the whole of the sensor with some brake cleaner and this brush. I have also cleaned out the ground and all the plastic parts that were everywhere with an air compressor and a vacuum. So first we're gonna install the new cable and then we're gonna insert the sensor into the hole. So as you can see, the sensor that I cut off earlier uh, goes uh, through the strut onto the subframe all the way down there somewhere. That's our faulty sensor removed. Well, I'm gonna remove this inner fender because I don't see a thing. So first we're gonna connect the new sensors to the connector. There we go. There we go, that's quite snug. Then we're gonna pass this screw here. Then we're gonna clip this in like so. Or should we do it the other way around? Nope, all right, so I have to do it the other way around. This is supposed to go like this, and then this sensor, like this. So then it's a matter of putting this cable through the hole. I'll do that bit off camera. All right, so here we have it, the new sensor installed, as you can see. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna button everything up and continue with our next part. After, of course, doing the same on the other side of the car. No, baby, she has no idea who you are. No, no, she doesn't No, she doesn't know. No, she doesn't know. So, so did you hit record? Yeah, oh, okay. All right, so now we're gonna replace the air filter. It should be a relatively straightforward job, so let's dive right into it. Alright, so to get to the air filter, we would need to undo two Torx bolts and two Phillips screws. I'm not sure if these were the factory bolts. And there's our air filter. Oh, that's dirty. Oh, that's better. Let's hit it with the vacuum real quick. And put in the new air filter. All right, so that's the air filter done. All right, so, and finally, we're gonna replace the cabin air filter. The cabin air filter should be located right over here. Well, inside the car, obviously. We should be able to do this without any tools, so let's figure it out. All right, so there's a small tab over here. One. And one over here, two, and we can pop this panel off, and then, there we go. So that's the old disgusting cabin air filter removed. Oh, f oh yeah. All right, so now to insert the new cabin air filter, we need to slide it up in here. All right, there we go. Then we're gonna put this panel back on. There we go. And that's the job done. So after a little test drive, we can see that the warning lights are not on anymore. So I guess that's a job well done. You heard the man, it's a job well done. Thank you so much for watching again. If you wanna support the Hunter Hoffman, go cop yourself some insane merch or become a member of my Patreon. Again, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Um, baby, I vind het zo dom. Echt. <laughs>